Well, tonight it's my honor and a privilege to introduce our speaker tonight, Dr. James Chestnut. Around the world, in the United States, Australia, France, Norway, Italy, Spain, and the list is growing and growing. His first degree is a Bachelor of Education in Physical Education. His second is a Master's of Science in Exercise Physiology. That allows him to interpret and collect the research that is out there. As I've mentioned, this material is changing lives. He is speaking about your daughter and your son and your parents and perhaps your future children because you make the change now, you get to change the future generations. When you see him speak, it comes from a very personal place because it is. Could you please help me in, and join me in welcoming Dr. James Chestnut. Hi, my name is Dr. James Chestnut. I'm an expert in the field of wellness and prevention. I'm also the founder of the Innate Choice Essential Nutrient System. Let me first start off by telling you what this system involves. We only have four, four supplements that we recommend. There are only four that have met the criteria of being an essential nutrient system in terms of requiring supplementation. Those four are omega-3 fatty acids, probiotics, a multivitamin, mineral, phytochemical uh, supplement, and vitamin D. Now, the reason that we only have four products is because there are only four products that have passed the, the scrutiny of being absolutely required by everybody every day for life and not being able to be, to be uh, consumed with just a reasonable change to our diet. You know, I've been studying this for over 25 years and for the longest time, and in fact, I still say, that the best supplement is no supplement. That's because genetically, we are always going to absorb and utilize nutrients best in their whole food form. There's no question about it. The best way is always in the most natural way. We have never improved upon nature and we never will because we are part of nature. However, in today's society, what I can tell you is the research is clear that those four nutrients that I mentioned, again, omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin D, probiotics and a multivitamin, multimineral, phytochemical supplement, we are not getting sufficient amounts of those nutrients in our diet. The result of that is a huge increase in cancer, uh, heart disease, stroke, uh, infertility, uh, depression, lack of uh, the ability to, to get a restful sleep, uh, anxiety and stress disorders. The truth of the matter is, is that without these nutrients, we know our bodies cannot operate properly. Our cells just do not function properly. Now. I know that the supplement industry is confusing at best and predatory at worst. So that is why I started out with the premise, which is this. I will only ever develop a product which I know is required by everybody every day for life because they can't get it from a reasonable change to their diet. I want you to know that I absolutely fought kicking and screaming into this, into this business. Why? Because I, for the longest time, just could not fathom why we would ever need to require supplementation because I just knew the value of whole foods. But when I started reading the research more and more and more, what I realized was two things. One is, it's just too confusing. Most supplement companies have 50 products to offer. The other thing I realized was that if I didn't supplement with these nutrients that I knew I was not able to provide for myself and my children were not getting, I knew I was putting them at a huge disadvantage. I knew that they were not going to learn the same. I knew that they were not going to be able to express the, the, the happiness and vitality that they deserve to. And I knew they weren't going to have the energy required to get through their days or the resistance to illness. As any parent knows, as soon as you find out that you could be doing something for your children that you're not, it immediately triggers a response, which is almost overwhelming. Well, I dove into the research and I, I, I love research. I have a master's degree in science and I love research, but I will tell you, even as a scientist, it could be confusing. So what I decided to do, and this is the foundational premise of innate choice, is we're going to clarify and simplify it. We are not going to uh, uh, recommend a large variety of supplements that you could get from your diet. We are simply going to make it the nutrient system, essential nutrients only. Essential meaning you can't get it from your diet. You have to provide it. We know for sure. Innate means what? Inborn. We know that you have the, 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 a very healthy genetic blueprint. The reason why you would not be expressing health is because you are not supplying that blueprint with the proper raw materials such as these nutrients. So here's what the research tells us. With these nutrients, you have a huge, significantly increased protection from cancer and all the other chronic illnesses, heart disease, stroke, I've already named them. We also know that you're going to have a in, huge increase in your ability to express health and vitality. For a few minutes, 
and a f actually a few seconds and a few dollars a day, you can make the most profound difference in your state of health and well-being imaginable. Please take the time to review the other videos and the other resources on the website. You need to get an understanding of the scope of the research that supports this nutrient system. Again, an eight choice, everybody, every day for life. It's very easy. Omega-3 fatty acids, probiotic, multivitamin, mineral, phytochemical, and vitamin D. It's all you're ever going to need to supplement with. Thank you. One of the gifts I was given by my upbringing, which was um, with a PhD biologist living on a hobby farm where my mom ran a horse boarding stable and spent most of my time either on a small farm and out in the wilderness fishing and camping, is that I had a perspective from very early on that I was an animal species. And, and I also understood very early on that when I saw other animal species in peril uh, and getting sick or going extinct, that it was always due to environmental issues. It was never due to genetic issues. But we, don't, we never blame genes uh, for an animal species getting sick, and yet somehow we've come to this ridiculous belief system that human beings are sick because of our genes. And as I started to study, and we're getting sicker and sicker in very short periods of time, especially since the 1950s, chronic illness rates are on an exponential increase. It can't be genes, because our genes haven't, aren't going through any, any significant changes in that short period of time. So that was the big aha moment for me, which was I, I stepped back from what was the prevailing belief system and said, well, you know, wow, it's, it cannot be genes. It doesn't make any sense that our illness rates are going like this, but our genes are, gene changes like this, virtually none. Uh, we can't blame genes. When people are dying because of how they eat, move, and think, they are committing suicide with their lifestyle choices and they keep getting told that they're sick because of bad luck or bad germs or bad genes, and the truth is, they're not. They're sick because of bad choices, and until they change those choices, it doesn't matter how many drugs they take or how many body parts they get removed with surgery or how many other surgical procedures they have, they have no chance of being well, and they have no chance of teaching their children how to be well. And that is extraordinarily motivating for me. And it, um, I just, I cannot rest uh, until people hear the truth.